Welcome to Cooking Papers Again with Marsha Parcell. I'm the Health and Human Science Educator in Dearborn County, and I'm happy to be here with you again this week. Last week we talked about smoothies. This week we are on to summertime snacks, or uh, any time snacks, because um, most of us like to snack. Occasionally we're hungry for something, and some of the times we don't know exactly what we want, so maybe you'll have some new ideas of things to incorporate into your snack food. And of course, I would encourage you to incorporate fruits and vegetables into these snacks. And so we begin today with a strawberry and yogurt wheat tortilla. Well, actually, no, I'm not using a wheat tortilla. I'm just using a regular tortilla. So that's always to feel free to do substitutions. And if for some reason you don't have tortillas in your house, another good option would be to use graham crackers potentially uh, children love to graham crackers, and so it would be easy to, there are two options to this again too, um, it suggests that you use uh, yogurt, but you can use pudding also, so I'm actually going to put some vanilla pudding on this tortilla, and then uh, 16 strawberries is what they want you to add to this to make like a strawberry yogurt tortilla. Or maybe a crepe if you want a fancy word. And um, they even suggest that you can sprinkle it with powdered sugar. So again, the strawberries are grown locally. So this is a great time of year to enjoy strawberries. And I know that they were on sale at many local stores. So just um, clean those strawberries, cut them in half, or depending on the size of them. And then we're going to roll them up. And again, you can use Sprinkle this with some powdered sugar, and if you want to cut it in half so that it can be shared, that's easily done. So that's how quick that um, tortilla, the strawberry pudding tortilla, can be assembled and be ready to enjoy. So maybe your children will want to try that. And again, if you do not have the tortilla, you could do it on a cracker, a graham cracker also. Next, we're going to move on to a drum roll. And so what does it take to make a drum roll? We need a tortilla again. And this time we are going to put some peanut butter on the tortilla. If you have allergies, you could use other kinds of peanut butter. Or you could again go to yogurt, uh, plain or um, vanilla, whatever your preference is. And if you want to get real adventurous, feel free to also try flavored yogurts on the um, Depending on what fruit you're adding, you know if you're adding, adding something that's blueberry and you want to make it all blueberry, then use blueberries and blueberry yogurt. Or if you want to do a little contrast, you know, uh, like lemon might be, some people might like lemon. And so you could do that also to go with strawberries. Okay, so we put about two tablespoons of peanut butter on our tortilla. Then what we want is diced apple. And so the diced apple, I went ahead and to prevent it from browning, if you don't know the secret, this is a great secret to know, put it through some lemon juice. And I love to make fruit salads this time of year too because I will use lemon juice, a fresh lemon juice, a fresh squeezed lemon over a fruit salad is even better. But I did go ahead and put some lemon juice across my diced apple and that's what we're going to sprinkle on here. They suggest too that if you want to, you could put some jam of some kind to make it more like a peanut butter and jelly, I guess. But I like the idea of this apple. And then um, instead of rolling this one up, they suggest that you can just fold this in half and then cut it into wedges. So you know it's always teaching about different shapes and sizes and uh, different textures too. So again, very quick assembly, although I did have my apple cut wash and cut and when you're working in the kitchen always make sure that you begin with clean hands and clean as you go so now we have uh, two of our potential snacks completed there so a little variety and next we're going to move on to then the peanut butter banana tortilla so for this one we're again going to add about two tablespoons of peanut butter to our tortilla. So spread that and again uh, you might 
use some other kind of almond butter or whatever your family might like. This one is interesting, so we're going to use a banana again and we'll slice it in half and then in half again and we will um, space the bananas about an inch apart in sections of this to make it easy for slicing um, our banana, our peanut butter banana roll up. One thing I would encourage you to this summer is to visit the farm market to get some locally grown produce and maybe to try something new too. Um, I encourage you to have um, try new things all the time. You'll find something, you know, our tastes change, and you might find something that you didn't know that you liked, or your children might too. So the more fruits and vegetables we can add to our diet, the better for us. Uh, we find that uh, it's something that's lacking in many of people's diets. So finding ways to add fruits and vegetables. So you know, one thing is to work on getting better. So this is one medium, medium banana. This is a really big banana, actually, kind of. So you might have to cut them to fit the size of your tortilla, too. And then we're going to roll this over. And roll it again. And then we're going to cut it in half. And there you have your peanut butter banana roll-up. So we have three different snacks now. And now we want to, so we talked a lot about fruit, but how about, how can we incorporate our veggies? So let's go to the veggie side of it. So this one is called a bunny burrito bite. And actually I made this uh, in advance because it asked for it to be refrigerated, but I'm gonna assemble one for you also here. And of course you could choose, you know, um, I choose all the whole grain or wheat flour ones because I want that more fiber in our diet. So, but this is one that was made with whole wheat and so it was rolled up and put in the refrigerator for a half an hour. And so now this is ready to be sliced and they say to slice this into one inch sections and to put a toothpick through it to hold it. So we're actually going to insert a little pick here before I slice this. And I'm thinking I'm going to slice this into about three or four pieces. So in this bunny burrito bite, we have uh, spinach. And actually, I altered the recipe a little bit. It asks or suggests that you can use cream cheese or it could even said peanut butter. I don't know if I would wet peanut butter with spinach. And so here we are slicing this into pieces, but look how beautiful and colorful it is. You want to, you know, eat the rainbow. You want to make your snack vibrant with uh, color. So this is great. And this has celery in it also. So spinach, carrots, and celery. Now, if for some reason you don't have the celery, you know, peppers would be a great option, a way to add more color. And I know at my house currently I had yellow pepper and red pepper available. So again, what you begin with is a tortilla and then you just spread it with cream cheese, they suggest. Um, you can, I, like I said, I use ranch dressing right here. Um, they're suggesting you could add the ranch dressing later to give more flavor maybe or um, make it more kind of like a salad maybe inside there. But after you have put your cream cheese on it, then you want to layer the spinach leaves onto your tortilla. They suggest that you leave a little piece at the top where it, there's no uh, dressing so that, you know, when you, it, it doesn't ooze out on you. So, loading this spinach up in the bunny burrito. And like I said, then uh, you are to put the celery across the center of it, but I'm going to put the yellow pepper into this one this time, like I suggested, since maybe you don't have the celery at home, or maybe 
you prefer pepper over celery. So we have some yellow pepper to add. And it's saying two to three slices. Or and you can make them the size you want. Another thought might be too that you dice that. And then what we're going to top it with then is shredded carrots. And so I grated this at home. It's uh, still a grater. So great way to involve your children too in learning all the different kinds of techniques in the kitchen. So we're ready to wrap this up then so that it would be put in the refrigerator for 30 minutes then. And they say tuck the end in and then you want to do the sides. <laughs> tuck the sides in. And it's ready to wrap in your plastic wrap. So I did not bring plastic wrap with me, so we'll stick it stick it in a sandwich bag for now. So but this one will have a little different color to it than the one that I made earlier, since I put the yellow pepper into it. And like I said, you'll uh, refrigerate this for 30 minutes. And so there are great. Uh, snacks to be made with tortilla. Some other thoughts are you can always um, go to using some grapes. Um, we suggest that too, you would slice them too or dice them. You could add some dried fruit. Another thing back to the apple one that I did earlier, I forgot that they suggest you could put some pancake syrup over the apple in there and they suggested too that you could get some sunflower seeds so I brought those things along but again it's ways uh, what you like and if you know that's a way to get your kids to try something new a great idea too to um, introduce them to new nuts and all those the variety in our diet is good for us so we are reminding you the library is open, and uh, I want you to know, too, last week I talked about giving away milk at Billsboro. This coming week we will be at the Lawrenceburg Speedway or the Lawrenceburg Fairground on Wednesday and Thursday to give away milk again. So we'll hope that you will come out and see us. And, of course, join us again next Thursday for Cooking Papers. We will be back to demonstrating another smoothie. But we're also encouraging you to submit your favorite smoothie to, uh, that you discover this summer. So if you're trying smoothies in your house and want to send us a picture of it and tell us about it, where you got the recipes, we would greatly appreciate that. But we'll be back again next Thursday at 2 for another Cooking Papers with Marsha. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see you soon.